Roses are red, violets are blue, but they don't get around like dandelions do. Dandelions are the worst. Springtime arrives, you plant your favorite flower seeds, give your garden a little TLC, and then when your flowers bloom, there's a dandelion too? How? You didn't plant any dandelion seeds. What you may not know is that weed seeds can sit in your soil hibernating and waiting for the perfect environment to sprout in. So those dandelion seeds woke up thanks to your TLC providing the perfect conditions. To add to that complexity, dandelions may have a different perfect environment than other types of weeds. This same concept explains how breast cancer tumors are formed. Both normal and precancerous cells reside in breast tissue. Precancerous cells contain genetic mutations. I've focused on an AKT mutation that's responsible for 20% of breast cancer tumors. You can think of AKT as a dandelion. Under normal conditions, both cell types remain sleeping or dormant. But under the ideal condition, the AKT mutated cells wake up, grow, and invade surrounding tissue, eventually forming a tumor. Most available medication fights cancer at this stage, after it's already arrived. I'm interested in finding and preventing the tumor from even forming. My thesis research is focused on deciphering what the ideal environment is comprised of and how it pushes mutated cells to wake up and grow. Using a 3D model system, I group both normal and mutated cells until they reached a dormant state. I then manipulated the environment to understand what specifically is waking up these mutated cells. What I discovered was a small immune protein secreted in breast tissue called CXCL12 works synergistically with the AKT mutation. When this protein is secreted near sleeping mutated cells, it attaches to them and it activates downstream survival pathways, pushing the cells to grow. Interestingly, this protein does not wake up normal cells. This is because the AKT mutation alters cells to have higher amounts of responding receptors and thus making them more sensitive to this protein. With this knowledge, work can be done to prevent mutated cells from even responding to CXCL12 by blocking its receptors and downstream pathways and ultimately keeping the AKT cells asleep. This is just the beginning of the path to preventing breast cancer before it forms. Did you know that one in eight women in the US will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime? My research will help more women live life in full bloom.